Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door, and Nature at Your Door is on the road, and I'm in Iceland right now, in the city of Reykjavik. It's about 17 degrees out, and I'm here with a bunch of other folks. We're all waiting for uh, guides to pick us up and take us on various tours around Iceland. I'm going with Arctic Adventures to see the Soheimenjokul Glacier, and I probably said that wrong, I've been practicing it. Hopefully by the end of this video I can say it right. So the Solohama Jokul Glacier is an outlet glacier for one of the fourth largest ice cap on Iceland. So we're going to check out this glacier and I'm hoping to teach you some things as I learn about glaciers in this episode of Nature at Your Door. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're going to find. The glacier that we're going to tour is about 93 miles east of Reykjavik and the tour includes this bus ride to get us to the site and then also a fascinating stop at the Skopagasfoss waterfall that was really, really impressive. As we made it closer to the glacier, it began to snow and it just added a little more edge to our glacier experience. So I'm here at the glacier site. We got a group going up uh, to do a little bit of ice climbing and some glacier touring. So this is the start. We've got our crampons, ice axes, mountain shoes, helmets, and harnesses on, and we're ready to go. So from the parking lot, we take about a 15 minute, 20 minute walk up to the foot of the glacier. Only the distance from the parking lot to the glacier gets, is getting longer and longer each year as a rapid melting of the glacier occurs. This summer in Iceland, just like much of Europe, was unusually warm. In Iceland, the, December, the November average was the warmest on record. So this is an outflow glacier and it unexpectedly snowed last night and you can see the glacier there in the distance this part of the glacier has been pushing back pushing back and receding over the years that's a lake that's a glacier lagoon that's formed by the when the ice is melting it forms this lagoon because the ice is kind of like coming down the mountain this is the place where it kind of stops and it's carving down the, the, the lagoon over here so this lagoon you can see some icebergs actually over there and you have to remember that 90 percent of the iceberg is under so you can imagine this lagoon is around 80 meters deep in terms of how deep but what i wanted to mention before he was already talking about how the ice is retreating in his video if it was 1996 so 26 years ago we give you this material that we have we walk two minutes we're already on the ice so this was already covered by ice however if we came in 2007 the lagoon didn't exist so the lagoon is starting just over here all of this was ice in 2007 all of this area and you can see back there where the ice is right now so all of that area has been uncovered since 2007 and the thing that's happening here is that the ice is not retreating just in length it's also getting less wide and thinner so if you look at your right side you can see over there kind of like a line of rock and on top kind of like a plateau a little bit on your left side sorry not on your right side um, so that plateau over there on the right side used to be the height of the ice in 2007 so it's what maybe 80 90 meters of ice that's not there anymore and basically what's happening is is also getting less wide inside the inside the own valley that has uh, formed through the years and we'll see one area where we have to use the helmets that's why we have our helmets so so early i'm gonna put mine as well just in a moment because there's rock fall since the ice is not holding those walls anymore we need to be careful with the rocks that are falling from them glaciers can be very dangerous and glacier travel should only be undertaken with trained guides here we have harnesses, helmets, ice axes, and now we're putting on crampons to continue our adventure across the glacier. So the Solahama Joko Glacier is an outlet glacier, which is part of the Madrasoshko ice cap. 
on the south coast of Iceland. The Sola Maja Joko Glacier is about eight kilometers long, or about five miles, and one or two kilometers, or about a mile wide. It's part of this larger ice cap called the Madra Social of Iceland, and it covers 230 square miles. It's up to 2,460 feet thick and peaks out at 4,898 feet. That's the Madra Sochoko Iceland Glacier or Ice Cap, which is associated with the Catalana Volcano of Caldera. Our Arctic Adventure Guide led us through the ice with ups and downs into crevasses and out. We got to see some amazing blue ice that some of which are created by these amazing muons. And next, our guide explains exactly how muons are formed. It's called Moulin. And I don't know if you speak French, but Moulin in French means meal, something that turns around, right? So basically what happens here in the glacier, we have Moulin and crevasses. And Mulan is formed when there's a small hole in the glacier and there's a river flowing into it. Right now it's frozen, of course, there's no water, but sometimes there's a stream kind of like flowing into this. It starts as a very small hole, like maybe a hole that's been formed because of a rock attracts a little bit of, uh, of sunlight, melts a little bit the glacier, and there's a river that happens to fall there. When this river is falling into the hole, basically it happens the same as when you open a tap in a bathroom. The water turns around, it twists. So the water goes there in the hole, twists around, and this goes on 24 hours. So there's water in the glacier turning continuously in a hole. So basically the hole starts getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. These Milans can be really quite big. And what I'm showing you here are some photos from a 2018 trip that I took to Iceland where we rappelled down into this almost 200 foot deep Mulan and then used our ice axes to climb out. With this glacier, we also enjoyed a little bit of ice climbing and practice being on this blue ice suspended from our crampons and our ice axes. Trying to get closer, and again. Make sure that it's on the wall, like it doesn't, if you like that, it's not holding me, you need to make sure you kick it and push it well, okay? Okay. Uh -huh. Hit higher. Nice. Soon we are on our way again and our Arctic Adventure Glacier Guide takes some time to stop and explain why there are places on this glacier that are covered with black ash. A lot of dirt, right? If I take it, if I can have it with my hand, it's all black. Underneath the size, yeah. Under it, I can start breaking ice. But what's up with all of this black stuff on top of the glacier? We've already talked about our volcano here, Katla. So what happens when Katla erupts? Imagine that you go to the ice, very dry ice, and you stick your tongue to it. You try to lick it. Your tongue sticks to it, right? Yeah. The same happens with the ash. There's a volcanic eruption. All these ashes go up into the atmosphere. When they drop down, and they touch the ice, they get stuck. So, many places of this glacier are actually covered by ash. And mainly, all of this area that we're crossing now is the one that has more ash. Why? So from here, we're gonna be heading back down to the car. Uh, it's probably snowed five or six inches on the glacier today. 
The temperature today started around uh, 14 or 15 degrees Fahrenheit, which is unusually cold, really, for Iceland. Um, So this has been Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door here with Arctic Adventures and one of the best tour guides ever. So knowledgeable if you want to learn about nature and have an amazing Arctic ice experience, go with the, this group. I don't get any money from them, but when someone does good stuff, you know I like to feature them. Most of my Nature at Your Door episodes are in the Appalachian Mountains, but I occasionally get around the world and feature some amazing things. If you like what I do on this channel, please subscribe and give me a like. So thanks again for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door in about five or six inches of snow that we've had here today.